Hey everybody, J and A Review, and today we're at Great American RV here in Huntsville, Alabama. If you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us that thumbs up. Today, we are gonna be looking at a 287 RLS Keystone Bullet, so let's get started. The length on this bullet is 32 feet, nine inches. The dry weight is 7,260 pounds. And that hitch weight is 855. Now we have actually had a request from somebody to look at a bullet. So here it is. We are getting a chance to look at one. So let's start right up here with this outside storage. Excuse me. Let's try that again. <laughs> the outside storage. Uh, your um, All of your connections over here, your water connections, outside shower, satellite cable, all in here. Just a quick pan down this side. You're going to have opposing slides in this one, so you've got a lot of interior room. So, hey, let's go on inside and take a look at it. Sure, we'll show you this side also. It's a nice big pass through in here, and you can also add a TV because you've got satellite and cable hook out, hookups on this side also. And we got two awnings. That's you do cool. have two awnings. We don't have the length on those. If we can find them, we'll pin them. Uh, but Keystone doesn't always give us links, but you do have two awnings on your campsite. And we also like to thank Phil. This is your camper, man. quick look around and this is a rear living so we'll just start right back here uh, this is going to give you a tri-fold sofa back here so if you need some extra sleeping you'll have this room your uh, little end tables on both sides has got USB and power storage right across the top and you'll see this one does have a little bit of a barrel type ceiling so that gives you some extra height right in the middle your theater seating over here. You're gonna have cup holders. Um, there's gonna be some storage here in the middle and, and on, each, on each, side. each side. Yeah. So these do have a parachute pull. And uh, I like these blackout rollers that yes. they have. They also give you a USB port right back here. Uh, finishing out this slide, you do have a dinette. Now this is down in travel mode, but you'll see that it um, will also make some additional sleeping. Now, we take a seat here in the theater. It's gonna put you right in front of the entertainment center. Good storage up above. That's deep storage. Yes. Um, hey, this one comes with a smart TV already in place, so that's great. A couple of good sized drawers down there. Yes. And your electric fireplace for a little extra heating. You do, are gonna have vents in the floor in this one. Now, your island, you see that you've got plug-ins actually on both ends. So, hey, that's great use. Uh, not solid surface countertops, but they do give you a nice big sink with a high-rise faucet. Um, drawers here. Yeah. And some storage in the middle. Oh my goodness, yes. And you got open storage right down there on the end. Cool. Okay. Big pantry. Oh, you got adjustable nice. shelves in here. So you can move those up and down wherever you want them. Oh. On your cooking area. More drawers. Wow. Yes. Right up there. Your microwave, of course. Okay. Uh, oh, convection. Yeah, yeah it's going to be a little convection yeah. microwave. And an air fryer. Air fryer. Wow. Got a three burner cooktop. Yep. With an oven, and there is another drawer down below that. There we go. Yeah, all oh, your goodies good. are stashed goodies in there. there. Yep. Moving right on, you're going to have a 12 volt compressor fridge. Yes. And they give you a coffee bar over here. Got to have that. Absolutely. Very good storage across the top. Get a shot of your AC up here while I'm standing under it. I like the decor on these. Two nice drawers. I like these. Um, I hope they show up well on the video. They're um, 
they're kind of a medium to dark gray finish on them. Mm -hmm. So really, really nice. All right, and I like these lights up above the island also. Let's go on down the hall. some storage up there that's not quite deep enough for linen storage but you can get all kinds of extra shampoo and things like that now Jeremy's six feet tall yes and there's a skylight so really really good head height in here I like that medicine cabinet right above your sink this is actually good counter area in here you've got a little open area right here for storage oh if I can get this down here storage underneath the sink and of course your foot flush toilet here and you've got lots of leg room down here okay your lights and all your other control panels are going to be right here going down the hall and as we go into the main bedroom uh, this is going to be a queen size bed north south bed good size wardrobe um, you know, that's the advantage of having the queen size. Your your wardrobe up here is bigger. actually bigger than mm -hmm. in a king size. So storage there. Yep. Um, down here, it looks like you're going to have power and USB on both sides. Oh, now look here. We got a drawer over oh, here. Oh, there's a drawer on this side. Mm -hmm. Okay, now there's not one on this side. So you've got one drawer. Storage on the bed. Oh, wow. Yes. Good storage underneath the bed. And I'm gonna hand this off so he can show you this other closet over here. Wow, nice little closet area. Hanging rod. And little shelves down here. That is sharp, I like it. And this particular unit does already have the second AC in place and you'll see if you wanna add your TV back here, you'll do it right up here with all your uh, plug-ins and connections in place. Oh, okay. All right, everybody, if you like this uh, Keystone Bullet or Rear Living, the dealership's information will be down in our description. And like always, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us that thumbs up. And Phil, hope we've done a good job for you.